the New Yorker is infected with the deadliest parasite on the planet. Maybe this is it. I've never, you know, faced death before. It's a Saturday, I'm at home. I wake up in a cold sweat. I get a fever and a headache. And now I start to get the chills. I'm concerned and I, I want to try to find out what this might be. On call is Dr. Daniel Koblipsky, an expert on infectious diseases. In listening to Kelly's story, we're hearing about fevers that are recurring every 48 hours. And there is a certain thing about fever patterns that are very important to listen to and understand. We asked Kelly if she had been anywhere outside the country in the past year. I tell them that nine months ago, I took my honeymoon to Africa. The doctors return to Kelly's blood sample. Kelly has some very abnormal labs. It looks like there's a problem with her blood. There's evidence that red blood cells are being broken open. As we try to figure out all these different abnormalities on her peripheral blood smear, uh, the one thing that can put it all together is malaria. Malaria is caused by a tiny parasite called plasmodium. I can't believe I have parasites in my blood. The parasite is transmitted from host to host by an insect, the mosquito. When an infected mosquito bites a human, the parasites enter the bloodstream and travel to the liver where they reproduce. The new parasites then move back into the bloodstream and attack red blood cells. There, they multiply rapidly and eventually break the cell apart from within. And legions of new parasites re-enter the bloodstream and start the attack all over again. I'm very scared and very afraid. 